Future Trend Channel is glad to welcome all of our subscribers. For the date of 16th July 2018, we start our everyday analysis of major currencies. And we'd like to uh, tell you that some later we will come with covering of commodity block of currencies for those who are interested in trading uh, these type of currencies. Why we will do this? Uh, that's uh, because of uh, economic calendar of uh, commodity block of currencies, which is really very full regarding this week. Now uh, let's speak a little bit about uh, major currencies. At the moment we don't have any kind of positions. Anyway, uh, we suggest that, that sooner or later we will uh, reconsider the situation, we will reevaluate re uh, the situation and probably enter any kind of new positions. Uh, that's uh, because uh, the situation at the moment uh, still, uh, from a longer term point of view, still uh, very favorable for another uh, upside potential of the dollar currency. Anyway, you know our position, uh, uh, we told a lot of times in our previous reports that uh, we are expecting a kind of uh, big correction of the dollar strength and that's because of uh, uh, of the underlying uh, uh, sentiment of uh, of uh, of the strength of the world economy that uh, sh sooner or later should translate also in the higher potential of respective currencies that means of course uh, that uh, from the point of view of fundamental analysis united states uh, uh, economy is uh, number one at the moment and is a driver is a driver of uh, of the whole world economy anyway sooner or later uh, the impulse uh, of uh, the united states economy should um, sooner or later translate to other economies and that should mean that sooner or later other economies should also um, show any kind of uh, uh, better economic results and from that point of view respective currencies should also um, trend higher. That's our basic idea at the moment. As regarding this week, let's speak uh, a shorter term. As regarding this week, uh, today is the day of publication of uh, of the data of two uh, biggest economies. The first one is uh, Chinese data. As you know, um, at the end of uh, last week, uh, trade balance of uh, China, uh, the trade balance of China and uh, the trade balance of China and United States were really encouraging. Uh, probably there is a kind of technical uh, impulse uh, because uh, Chinese producers uh, know the fact that uh, sooner or later United States will impose new tariffs on uh, imported Chinese goods into the United States and uh, the deadline will come at the end of uh, August and from that point of view probably the Chinese, Chinese uh, um, importers accelerated uh, its current sales probably, who knows of course, from that point of view, next period of time, a beginning of uh, uh, end of um, summer, end of August, uh, beginning of uh, autumn, should be uh, probably a pivotal point of relations between the United States and China. If uh, Chinese economy will resist, uh, if the Chinese economy resists all these negatives, that will mean that world economy is really effective at the moment and could uh, withstand uh, that's negatives um, associated with uh, higher uh, tariffs imposing by the United States against its major trading partners. Anyway, uh, that uh, we, we could understand uh, only in a uh, one to three period, uh, one to three months period of time. At the moment, because of higher printing of Chinese, uh, Chinese economic data, gross domestic product, product in China this morning were uh, more or less uh, um, uh, positive. Uh, it came in uh, uh, expected number of 6.7%. And that's po uh, why probably the risk reversion sentiment subsided. 
in the foreign exchange market and in the world financial markets and uh, probably because of that we see that a euro dollar is uh, looking uh, really very encouraging at the moment uh, trading around 11703 at the moment our trade idea on uh, on the euro dollar is buy is to buy the euro dollar on a possible dip to 11660 and we will be ready to um, add to our existing position at 11560 where lies uh, by the way where lies um, um its current uptrend 11560 we will put a stop on uh, such kind of position to below 115 where we recognize a really strong support at the moment and uh, as uh, we suggest probably uh, the market is forming a kind of double uh, bottom against uh, this level from that point of view uh, while we are trading above uh, that line above uh, that support the euro dollar should sooner or later as we suggest retest uh, the levels of 11850 and even 120 from a longer term point of view and from technical perspectives uh, we could recognize a kind of head and shoulders pattern and uh, break below 115 could open much lower levels in the longer term run for the euro dollar at the same time break about 120 121 should uh, result in uh, uh, resuming in retaining of the euro dollar to its um, bullish trend we witnessed at the beginning of 2018 but probably during summer times uh, we will uh, stay in the range roughly between 115 and 120 that's our prime idea at the moment as regarding the dollar yen uh, subsiding risk aversion fears should stimulate the dollar yen uh, higher we know that uh, uh, at the moment this kind of uh, uh, pair trading above its broken up, uh, downtrend line located around 111.50 and also we should recognize a kind of uh, a kind of uptrend line of 2018 located around 11040 we will use a possible dip to this line to buy the currency with a stop below 110 where lies um, a psychological barrier as well as moving coverage to 100 daily line located at the moment around 11012 as regarding sterling sterling should be uh, should be trading basing on political factors at the moment uh, we know uh, how tough times uh, Theresa May uh, faces um, and uh, from that point of view uh, probably uh, the cable should remain under the political focus also we uh, are seeing kind of uh, positive uh, signals here for uh, for a possible upside potential of uh, the cable from that point of view we suggest to use a possible uh, return to 131 level to buy the pair uh, because sooner or later we suggest uh, that the, uh, that cable could uh, be back to its uh, resistances uh, located around 133.60 and uh, 134.60 from a longer term point of view only a break about 137 137.10 where we are seeing a kind of strong uh, pivotal resistance barrier could result in higher printing of the cable and finally some words about the dollar swiss as we uh, told already uh, some later we will come with analysis of uh, commodity block of currencies as regarding the dollar swiss uh, uh, the break below 99.90 we will use to establish new short positions because probably probably the dollar swiss could uh, develop a kind of double bottom against its current highs uh, located at 10055 and the highs of friday last friday located at 10068 once again our strategy of major currencies and uh, for those interesting on uh, in uh, 
in our analysis of Eurocrosses, uh, here it is. Thank you very much, dear friends. We wish you a profitable and pleasant trading week ahead.